We are we are going nuts backstage. <laughs> Many of us grew up watching Jesse, and the cast members were growing up right along with us. Let's take a look back at some of our favorite stars and find out what it was really like behind the scenes. Peyton Liss fills her backstage BFF, while Karin Brar reveals which co-star he had trouble communicating with. Guys, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Guess what? I'm headed for the Big Apple. Some fans don't realize that actress Debbie Ryan really was Jessie, in more ways than one. Yes, yeah, she played the role of Jessie Ryan Prescott, but it was a part designed specifically for her, and from there, the show as we know it today was created. Series creator Pamela Ells O'Connell was wowed by Debbie's work on The Sweet Life on Deck, and wanted to find a way to keep her on the Disney Channel and showcase her talents. Jessie worked as a nanny for a rambunctious family, and in many ways this mirrored what life was like for Debbie behind the scenes. Like, we work really hard, but we play really hard. She was older than the stars portraying the Ross children, but it wasn't so long ago that she was a kid herself, so she had a good idea of what they were going through as they got used to their new roles. When we started, they had never been on a sitcom before. Feeling like a nanny on set definitely helped her get into character as Jessie, and she said that the kids always had tons of questions for her during filming. Many child stars feel like they were forced to grow up too fast, but it's the opposite for Debbie Ryan. She claims that sticking with Disney helped her hang on to her childhood, and that working on The Sweet Life on Deck meant she knew what she was getting into with Jessie. But that doesn't mean there weren't any downsides Debbie was forced to deal with. This star describes herself as an introvert and says it was a challenge to be constantly surrounded by people for long periods of time. Even sitting through hair and makeup could be a challenge. But luckily, Debbie says that her co-stars were understanding of the fact that she needed space at times and didn't take it personally. I need a little bit of alone time because I'm an introvert. It's a good thing Debbie felt like part of a family on set because she also found it hard to relate to people outside of Jesse. She compared growing up in the spotlight to living in a world of chaos and said that it was hard for other people to understand the downsides of fame she had to deal with. Just another reason to love hanging out with her fellow Jesse stars. Debbie claims that learning everyone's quirks and personalities helped her become the youngest woman to ever direct a show on the Disney Channel. Action. According to Peyton Liss, growing up as one of three siblings helped her prepare for her role on Jessie. Her fellow cast members felt like family fast, and before long, she considered all of them her brothers and sisters, although she admits to having a favorite. Peyton has said that her favorite co-star was Sky Jackson and that the two of them spent a lot of time together behind the scenes. There are quite a few similarities between the real-life Peyton and her character Emma. They both love fashion, although Peyton admits Emma has a slightly preppier style. While she was working on the show, Peyton was living in a small, narrow house in Brooklyn, so pretending to live in a mansion with a butler was a bit of a challenge. But thanks to those sweet Disney paychecks, Peyton was able to afford a much swankier place as an adult. I have this amazing chandelier, from, which is original to the house, which was built in 1926. She and her fellow stars spent a ton of time together, and one of their favorite pastimes was doing impressions of each other. Apparently, they were a little too good and helped the stars realize just how much they knew about each other and how close they had become over the course of filming. Not only did they laugh together, they learned together too. Bean says they had two teachers working with them on set in addition to their online learning. While Peyton loved helping pick out pieces for Emma's wardrobe, she was also grateful to the makeup team who helped hide her breakouts. While being a part of the Disney family helped hide her complexion woes, it also added some pressure to young Peyton who felt like she had to live up to a certain standard. She was warned against doing anything remotely scandalous that would tarnish her perfect and pristine Disney image. Many fans were crushed when Peyton took her leave of Bunked, but she wasn't sad to go. Although she has many happy memories of her time with the Disney Channel, she felt as though she grew up too much to take part in children's shows. But that doesn't mean she doesn't have fond memories and lasting connections with the friends she made along the way. Even when they're far apart, the force of love keeps them together. For Cameron Boyce, getting a part on Jesse was a dream come true. In fact, he admitted to being totally starstruck the first time he met Debbie Ryan in person, and when she called to tell him he got the role of Luke, he thought she was pranking him. I'm just shocked. I still can't believe it. I still don't know where I am. 
I see the light. <laughs> but little did he know that the real pranks wouldn't happen until he was on set. Apparently, Debbie is a big time prankster and got the rest of the cast in on the fun, including gifting them marshmallow blasters that they love to aim at Kevin Chamberlain. We're pranking people, we're pranking each other. When Cameron arrived for her first day on set, Debbie picked him up and gave him a big hug and he knew he had found his family. When talking about Luke, Cameron often described him as mischievous, so with the amount of pranks going on backstage, it sounds like this star could relate to his on-screen counterpart. But Cameron also had a serious side and hoped that his role on Jesse would bring some diversity to the Disney Channel and inspire others to pursue a career in acting. Cameron always knew how to make his friends laugh, and he also knew when they needed someone to reach out. When Debbie's mom was battling cancer in the third season, Cameron noticed her fatigue from accompanying her to chemo treatments. Debbie claims that Cameron seemed to know when she needed some comfort and was always there with a hug and a maturity that seemed far beyond his years. He was also a talented singer and dancer and would entertain his co-stars during their time on set. Apparently, he was every bit as talented behind the scenes as he was in front of the camera. Dean described him as an old soul and said he left a huge impact on her life. Of course, Jesse. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll make you proud. We've shared plenty of sweet stories about the Jesse cast, but there was one member of the team, Karin Brar, did not appreciate sharing screen time with. Frank. If you're struggling to think of this Frank, you might know them better as Mrs. Kipling, a seven-foot-long Asian monitor lizard who Karin was terrified of at first. Apparently, Frank didn't take direction well, and what he had in mind usually wasn't what the cast was hoping for. But other than Frank, Karin loved working with the less reptilian cast members. Yeah, like season one, it was like, Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> He said they loved hanging out in the Ross's living room and on the playground in the Central Park set when they weren't working. Like his co-star Debbie Ryan, Karin also had a role created specifically for him. Originally, the character we all know and love as Ravi was going to be Javier, an adopted son from South Africa. But after meeting Karin, the casting director decided to make some major changes to bring this talented star onto the cast. But there was one hurdle, his accent. Yes, Karin actually had to work with a coach in order to develop an Indian accent in order to portray Ravi properly. He was so good at faking it that many fans refused to believe it was really Ravi when they met him in person. According to Karin, he did a lot of growing up on the set of Jesse and matured during his time on the show. Like Cameron, he's also passionate about diversity in the entertainment industry. After Jesse ended, Karin eventually went on to voice Prince Veer on Mira Royal Detective on Disney Junior. Getting used to spending time with his co-stars was easy and a ton of fun, but there was one aspect of fame that was hard for Karin to adjust to. Makeup. Apparently, he wasn't used to wearing a full face of foundation and kept constantly smudging it off on his shirt, and occasionally his co-stars when he would hug them. Like the rest of the cast members, he loved to pull pranks, but admitted that Debbie and Skye were the most proficient pranksters on the set. While Sky Jackson adjusted to working on Jesse right away, she admits that sometimes it was hard for her to rewatch older episodes. And I look at it back, and I was like, my acting is terrible. Yeah. Sky, you were a kid. Cut yourself some slack. Sky is one of the stars who felt as though they grew up over the course of Jesse, and she believes that everyone's acting progressed by the time the show ended. In addition to giving her a way to hone her acting skills, Jesse also presented Sky with the opportunity to meet Justin Bieber. Yes, Sky is a believer, or at least she was when she met him at the age of 10. She loved spending time with her fellow cast members, especially her big sisters Debbie and Peyton. Sky even related to her character Zuri, claiming that they both share similar amounts of sassiness. When she wasn't hanging out with the cast of Jesse, Sky says she spent a lot of time with the people behind Lab Rats since they shared a studio. And the fact that Lab Rats had a popcorn machine and a slushy machine definitely didn't hurt. Well, we love to steal their slushies <laughs> because they have a slushy machine and a popcorn machine. But there were some negative aspects of the show that young Sky was unprepared for. She was bullied both at school and online for her appearance, which had a devastating impact on her. 
Eventually, she learned to love herself and stop taking negativity to heart. She also struggled to get over the fact that despite their similarities, fans couldn't seem to separate Skye from Zuri. For a long time, she felt pressure to confront her haters, but eventually she realized there's a reason social media has a block button. Skye says that she and her Jessie co-stars have had a lot of heart-to-hearts, but for some reason child stardom wasn't a frequent topic and it was something she was mostly left to figure out on her own. What's your favorite scene from Jessie? Share your pick with us and your fellow Disney Channel fans with us in the comment section down below. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to stay connected with us here at The Things. We'll see you again next time!